Ooh. Ah. Hey everyone, Tony Phelan here with Competition X. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the buggy light pod set for LEDs from Tamiya onto our Tamiya Grasshopper. Now this is not made for the Tamiya Grasshopper. It does have quite a few different pod shapes and we'll get over to the workbench there and show you what these are. Uh, I'm just doing it on this because the pods, there are a pair of pods in here that look similar to these here. So I thought it would be cool to put lights on this. Now in addition to this, this does not come with LEDs. This is just the pod set. It also comes with um, some uh, Lexan covers. Again, we'll get over to the workbench to show you all that. But in addition, you're going to need some kind of LED system. I am using Tamiya's TLU01 light pod or light um, controller and two strings. I have a pair of whites for the front and I'm going to somehow try and figure out a pair of reds for the rear. Now this has a couple, like I said, a couple different pods that we could put in different places, so we're going to try that. In addition, this also has your adapter that goes in between the battery and the speed control to power it up. We'll probably be changing these out because well, they're Tamiya plugs and nobody uses those anymore. So uh, let's go over to the workbench. Let's get this unp unpackaged, see what's inside of it, and then we'll show you how we install it. Okay, so let's get the package open. This is part number 54972. It's a buggy light pod set. As you can see, it comes with a couple different uh, pods and of course the lenses. So let's get this open and see what's inside. Uh, the first thing is of course the instructions. Tells you how to do the different light pods, different mounting systems that it comes with, uh, how to actually install the LEDs and the lenses, cutting out the lenses. Then it has your mounting hardware. Of course, it is the Tamiya mounting hardware. All of the different, uh, looks like there's some washers in there, some zip ties to, for the wiring. Then you have your lenses, some round lenses and some square lenses, six of each. And then your light pods. Two trees. So you have two round, two square-ish, and then of course your different mounting brackets. So it gives you two of these, so you can actually have four of the round, oh, yeah, four of the round and four of the square, or smaller ones. So we're actually going to use one tree, we're going to use two of these in the front, and then two of these we're going to see if we can find a way to mount these in the back of the grasshopper. One goal with this light bucket install on our grasshopper is to use only the parts that come in this kit. You won't need any additional screws or spacers. The first thing we're going to do is remove all the parts from the parts trees. That includes the mounts and the buckets. If you cleanly remove the parts from the tree, you probably won't have any flashing. I did have some flashing, however, so I'm using a hobby knife to trim it off for a more completed look. Before installing, don't forget to remove the overspray film from the clear parts. Trim the pieces you're going to need from the clear plastic sheet. Use the trim line as your guide. This is probably a good time to empty the hardware bags. If you're installing these LED buckets on your grasshopper, go ahead and remove the stock lights now. If your buckets aren't going together smoothly, you can trim a little bit more off the lens. Just don't remove too much or your lens will fall right out of the bucket. There are two different types of screws provided a 12 mm self-tapping screw and a 10 mm machine screw. Make sure you use the 12 mm screw for the front buckets. Don't use the stock screws in this location, they're a bit too long. 
Instead, use the shorter M3 by 10 mm self-tapping screws supplied with the kit. The light bucket kit is already turning out really cool. If you're installing the square buckets, you can use the same procedure as the front to assemble them. So the mounting location that makes the most sense on the back of the grasshopper is the lower shock mount. Thankfully, to me includes a pair of mounting options for times like this. We'll be using the right angle mount for both sides. Remove the screw from the lower shock mount. We don't need to hang on to the screw, but you do need to hang on to the brass bushing. Use the 15 mm screw that came with the light bucket kit and add a 3 mm washer. Slip that through your light bucket assembly followed by two black o-rings and the brass bushing. Now carefully install this entire assembly into the bottom of the shock and back into your transmission. Tighten the screw down just enough until the light bucket has some resistance and doesn't swing on its own. Now follow the same procedure to install the light bucket on the opposite side of the car. The light controller is a bit big, so finding space could be a challenge. On the grasshopper, I moved the ESC all the way over to one side, which offered enough room for the controller to mount right next to it. I tidied up the wires a bit and got them all squared away in the chassis. Just a few more steps before we finish the install. As I mentioned earlier, I won't be using the Tamiya plugs for power. Instead, I soldered the power leads right to the T-plug. Makes for an easy and clean install. A little more wire routing. Gorilla tape for the win. The rear light mounting isn't optimal, but since I was trying to use only the parts that came in the package, this will have to do. To help keep the lights in place, I use a dab of E6000. Easy to apply, easy to remove. Alrighty, let's plug the battery in and see how the lights look. Okay, so there you have it. An easy light option for the Tamiya Grasshopper using Tamiya's Buggy Light Pod Set. I think the pod set will work on different vehicles as well, like the Grasshopper, the Hornet. Um, Came out pretty cool. They look like factory lights on there, right? They look pretty good. As do the rears. The rears came out really good. I like the positioning of the lights. Um, and I like the fact that Tamiya has mounting brackets so that you can do stuff like this. Put them where there's really no mounting brackets to begin with. So everyone, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give it a like. See you next time.